My family uh, has been so supportive of me uh, throughout my whole life. And if you have time for a story, I have um, uh, definitely uh, my parents to, to thank for a lot of things. When I was a junior in high school, and I had one more year left till I graduated from high school, I kind of panicked a little bit because I knew I only had one more year left. And I, being a kind of a planner, that I think I am. I really wanted to, to have an idea what I wanted to do later on. And I knew I wanted to go to college, but I had no idea what I wanted to major in. So I went to my parents a little, uh, a little panicked, <clears throat> and I said, do you realize I'm going to graduate next year? I have no idea what I want to do. And they said, well, uh, what do you like doing? I said, um, well, I don't know, maybe I thought an, a veterinarian or a, a gosh, maybe a, a a newscaster, you know, they, they get papers and they read them and, and it sounds like they learn a lot of things and they stopped me and they said, no, we don't want to know what do you want to be, what do you want to do? And I was thought, well, what do you mean? And they said, well, you're 16, tell us, tell us what things that you enjoy doing right now. And I thought, thought about it and I said, well, I like to run, I love track, uh, is that something you want to keep doing, Tracy? Yeah, if I could. I mean, I don't want to be an Olympian, but I'd sure love to keep running. Okay, what else? And I said, well, I like science, and um, I, I don't think I'm very good at it, but I always wondered, you know, why is the sky blue? Uh, why, why does water boil? And uh, what I liked about chemistry in particular was that it answered those questions. And they said, okay, well, uh, why don't you Okay, you got that on your list. Why don't you get a piece of paper, write these things down. So I did. And I put down some other things. I liked working with tools because uh, my father was uh, owned an electrical contracting company. I was one of his electricians since I was about seven. I was uh, strapping on tools and helping my dad. And I really liked working with tools. And I didn't know what I wanted to do later on in life, but I knew whatever it was that I wanted to, to work with tools. So I wrote that down. And I was also uh, taking uh, Spanish in high school. And I knew sign language from uh, from earlier, and although you know, I didn't want to be an interpreter growing up, didn't really even cross my mind. I knew that later on in life, I'd, I'd, what I really liked about learning languages is that you get into the mind of someone else with a different culture, and you have to almost learn their culture before you can learn their language. And it was fascinating to me even at that age. And I thought, I would love to do that. So I had this list of stuff, and I looked at my parents, and I go, I still don't know what I want to be. And they go, well, don't worry about it. Now, just that's your list. That's not our list. That's not your friend's list. That's your list. And you hang on to that list. You add to it. You take away from it. But you remember that no matter what you do later on in life, it better be what you like to do because you're going to be the best at that. That's what you're going to excel at. No one else is going to have to get up and walk in your shoes except you. So you make sure that you really enjoy what you do. So keep that list. And so I did. And um, not having a clue what I was going to be or do or what that, what that list meant as far as who Tracy could become. Uh, but that also happened to be the same year, 1986, where uh, the whole world was really excited about NASA. And I was, uh, I was excited too. Um, it was uh, because of a mission that was going up into space and it was going to take with it a teacher. And that teacher uh, was Krista McAuliffe. This was, of course, before the accident. But um, it really got me thinking because, oh, I mean, a teacher is going up in space. A teacher, they're calling her an astronaut. And before this, I never really thought much about what an astronaut was because who do you think of when you think of astronauts? The, the, at my age at that time, it was the, the right stuff. You know, it was the, the, the military test pilot. So you never thought of a teacher as having the right stuff. But this teacher had the right stuff. And I thought to myself, you know, I, I spend more time with my teacher, my teachers, than I do my own parents. I mean, they impact my day, my life. And they have since I was, you know, in the kindergarten. And, you know, not only did I have one teacher, but I had multiple teachers throughout the day. And, you know, teachers not only taught me subjects in school, but they also taught me uh, sports. They encouraged me. They were motivators. They were examples for me. I thought, wow, you know, if anyone could motivate me, um, it's a teacher. And so I thought, gosh, 
I got to figure out more about these astronauts. So, so uh, there, Chris McAuliffe motivated me to learn more about astronauts, and I learned that they. Uh, I got on uh, into the. I got into the NASA website. It was just kind of new back then, and I uh, uh, learned about astronauts coming in two flavors. There were mission specialists. There were uh, uh, the pil the pilots from the military, and I. I didn't have any interest in going to the military, but the mission specialist uh, really did kind of uh, excite me. I found out that they uh, were engineers or scientists, and though I didn't consider myself a scientist, I was really excited about science anyway. And then I found out they were building the uh, space station. At that time, it was called Space Station Freedom, but they were transitioning into the International Space Station. They're going to involve all these other countries. So not only were they building this space station, but they were using astronauts to help turn the bolts. And they were, they were astronauts from all different countries. And they were all speaking uh, different languages. And uh, I mean, every, everything about it just seemed so exciting to me. And then I thought about that list, and I went back and got it. And the more things I read on my list, and the more things I read about what astronauts did, I thought, that's what I want to do. I want to be an astronaut. So there were a lot of people that had their hand in uh, motivating me, not the least of which were uh, my parents. Um, but a pretty significant portion of that were the teachers that I spent uh, most of my life growing up with.